cool guy by the name of Matt Reddy. He, he wrote this book here. He's an author, an advocate for single payer health care. And uh, I think we're all advocates for single payer health care. But, but you got the right idea. I think we're all. So Matt's going to come up and talk to you guys. And uh, let, let's make sure he knows that we're glad he's here. Thank you so much for uh, coming out today and allowing me to speak. I've got some things to say that my wife says I'm, I'm crazy to say here, but here we go. Yeah. Um, so I'm actually, I'm an elected politician. I'm a hospital commissioner in Jefferson County, uh, Washington. But more importantly, I'm an activist. I marched with Occupy Wall Street. I went to two Occupy Wall Street national gatherings. I facilitated general assemblies for them. I sat on the streets of Hong Kong during their umbrella revolution where they were demanding real democracy. I host a podcast, I've written this book. I, I'm trying to figure out how to build consensus in the world. And I've got this project called the Global Consensus Project where I'm trying to do that. And yes, I'm a diehard advocate for single payer healthcare in this country, either at the state or federal level. Either of those Our world is changing fast and it needs your help. Who here considers themselves an activist? Just raise your hand. Woo! Great. We are entering a time where every one of us needs to be an activist, but we need, I think, a new type of activist. We need to be more thoughtful, creative, patient, open-minded, and willing to learn and grow than ever before. Is that you? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Well, let's see. Who here voted for Donald Trump? <laughs> Not a single hand, okay. Um, I want to say to anyone who did vote for Donald Trump or supports President-elect Donald Trump, Boo. I want to promise you, you are not my enemy. You are my countrymen, you're my neighbors. Yes. I it's want bad. you to show up and share your ideas. I want us to learn from one another, and I want to believe if Trump supporters were here, they would feel safe raising their hand because yeah. we believe in dialogue. I hope we're all willing to say that, to welcome people with different backgrounds and radically different worldviews into our circles. I know it's easier to only speak with people of like minds, but the pathway to the world we want is not easy. Who here wants a healthcare system in which every person in the U.S. has equal access and amazing healthcare services at an affordable cost? Did we have that under Obamacare? Uh, no, not by a long shot. Obamacare was a, is a deeply flawed law attempting to improve a deeply flawed healthcare system. Yeah. It was flawed because big corporations were at the negotiating table yeah. writing the law. Yeah. Woo. What the hell, people? Yeah. Why are we allowing for-profit corporations to write our laws? Yeah. What the, the hell? What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> the reason is we allow them to divide us. If we the people want to take back control of our country, we need to unite. We need to bring all the people to the negotiating table. And corporations are not people, so they don't come to the negotiating table. <laughs> corporations are an abstract concept we use in service to us the people. Corporations are our slaves. We all need to begin remembering this fact. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Our healthcare system is an absurd mess. It's an embarrassment in the Western world. Our healthcare costs our healthcare costs us twice as much per, per, per person as other countries, and we do not guarantee universal access. And we have worse health outcomes. We need radical transformation of our healthcare system, and to accomplish radical change, we need to do things differently. We need to elect different types of leaders. Yeah. Woo. We did that. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it, it's not the type of leader we thought we'd get, but this is a different type of leader. This is a different time. And we need to stop demonizing people who we need to work with. We need to come together in ways we never have before, and that means listening. Donald Trump is not our enemy. Trump supporters are not the enemy. If you want to know who the enemy is in the struggle for universal health care, 
It is the for-profit corporations that relentlessly attack and block the idea of universal health care. Anyone who values their personal profits over collaborating for the good of all, that is a potential enemy. Any politician beholden to big money and corporate power is an enemy. But I don't think that is necessarily Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a maniac. He's not beholden to anyone. His independence and his courage may make him useful to us. Maniacs can be amazing allies. Give me 30 minutes talking to Donald Trump. I think I can make him a single payer advocate. <laughs> After all, the road to peace is through sitting down at a table with your former enemies, breaking bread, negotiating, and signing a peace treaty so they become allies. Let us bring our enemies to the table. Let us transform our enemies into allies. Let us march in the streets demanding our government work for the good of all people and not be a tool for the wealthy elite. The pathway to a better world is open to us if we allow ourselves to be patient, thoughtful, and creative in our tactics. As I've said, I've marched with Occupy Wall Street, I've marched with unions, I've sat on the streets of Hong Kong, I've run for political office, I've written a book, I'm searching for the right tactics to help us transform our world. Yeah. If you're searching too, I invite you to join me. I'm trying something new. I'm going to be hosting an open online general assembly, open to everyone, trying to create a safe space where, yes, Trump supporters and non-Trump supporters and socialists and whoever else wants to come out, we can dialogue and figure out how to unite as a people because we need to be united. We need to start building bridges with our neighbors. Anyone who wants to work with me to figure out how to do this, please reach out to me. If you want your voice to be heard, I'm actually recording an episode of my podcast, The Mindful Activist, right now. You can come over to me after the rally and you can have your voice heard, first, your voice heard and shared with the world. If we the people learn how to unite, we cannot be stopped. We cannot be manipulated or controlled. Let us work together to build a better world. Thank you. Woo!